welcome agents. There's a lot of debate in the community right now about the best and only way to make a build in the Division 2. This has been covered by other creators and is making the rounds on Reddit and Twitter. So with that in mind, is armor and health completely irrelevant? Is stacking into red stats the best way to build in the Division 2 or not? Today I want to add my opinion to the debate and get your input in the comments below. With that said, let's get to it. So agents, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into this hard mission just to the start. And this is the build that I'm going to be running. As you can see, we've got eight main red stats, four blue, four skill power. And really, I'd want to go full uh, red stats. But as you can see, my armor is 148,000 and my health is 39,000. Pretty low. You know, most builds, you'd be looking over 200,000, okay? But it should be able to explain uh, the, the, the issue, or the, at least the, the debate. And the debate is that armor and health really make no, no difference. You can see my armor bar there, not particularly high. It's unfortunate that the firing range has nothing to help you see what damage you take. But I died pretty quickly. Okay, so I died there in about, what, two or three seconds, mainly? <laughs> um, pretty crazy. Now, the build I've swapped over is um, it's not loads difference. Obviously, none of this stuff is optimized by any means, but... The armor is 208,000 here as opposed to like 146. The health is 64,000 opposed to 39. You're looking at between 25 to 50% extra armor and health combined. Probably about 50% more if you combine both of them. And, and when we get in here, you'll see that my armor bar is, is massive compared to what it was before. It's a lot more. But what you're going to see as well is that I'd probably die. Let me take a few shots. People can actually shoot me, please. So, I died just as quick. <laughs> um, you can see I died pretty quick there, okay? And whilst it might look like I didn't die as quick, it really, if, if anything, it was, what, 0.5 of a second? It really made nothing. And when you consider that my armor and health are, like, 50% greater, what's the point? <laughs> um, and it only, and it doesn't change. If my armor was 250,000, it, do, it really doesn't change. It's 0.5 of a second, and it's not enough, basically. Uh, it's not enough for you to get away. It's not enough for you to really take cover. Um, and that's the debate. So I'm going to quickly go over the build, guys, in the base of operations. All right, so we're currently in the firing range, and this is my kind of DPS build. It's not optimized, okay? And all I've done here is I've not really synergized talents or any of that stuff. None of it's optimized. Obviously, talents here, as you can see, certainly with my... Um, my P416 here, there's no damage talents really. Nothing that's going to really help me with this. Um, the only thing I've done with the gear itself is I've, I've purely tried to make it as much damage as possible. Um, and as you can see, we've got damage to elites here. And if I could remove that skill power thing, then I would. And actually, in many ways, um, I would say that red stats and skill power stats are probably going to be the best going into the future as long as... Um, they don't change anything, okay? Uh, skill power at the moment is still redundant, really, unless you're fully specking into it. Um, so, at the moment, you're just looking at red stats. I mean, ultimately, if you can down an enemy in one second, okay, because you've got such high DPS, great. That's what you want to do. The best defense is... The best kind of defense is a good offense. I'm not sure how the quote goes, but it's very true. I'd much rather kill someone in one second than kill someone in five seconds, you know? Because I've got a lot more health, but I don't do as much damage. But actually, the lot more health in this case just simply doesn't work. We move on to the chest piece here. We've got Berserk. We've got damage to elites. We've got crit damage, health, and bonus armor. And, and again, if I could change this, I would. I would go with crit, uh, crit chance, um, and I'd probably go with weapon damage here. Because, honestly, armor and health are so... They're so negligible... You really don't need it. But the difference in damage is um, a lot, okay? It really makes a big difference. Certainly when it comes to damage to elites and overall sort of crit chance, crit damage when you're synergizing it with, with talents that are in the game. So the holster here is crit chance, damage to elites. I've gone with DNH for a set uh, because DNH has good uh, crit damage and crit chance. If I could change it, I would. I'd actually run uh, Wyvern and Wear. And the reason I'd run uh, Wyvern and Wear is because you get... I believe you get more um, crit chance and less crit damage, although my crit chance is pretty good. So it, it really depends. Kind of, You kind of want a two to one ratio when it comes to crit chance to crit damage, really. But when you're running these gloves and the talent thing, you kind of want a lot of crit chance. The backpack, safeguards on there, but, you know, safeguard is good, right? No, safeguard. I say safeguard. Safeguard is really good. 
Okay, it's one of the best talents in the game, but you don't need it. You like you really don't need it. Um, and uh, certainly with this build, it's not about survivability. It's about dying because. Dying. It's not about survivability, it's about killing things quickly. And if you can do that, then you don't need to worry about survivability. And actually, even if you spec into survivability in this game, as I showed, it makes no difference. It really makes no difference. We've got crit uh, damage, crit chance, damage to elites here as well. And then on the gloves, we've got... And again, you want to get attributes like assault rifle damage. You know, I think you can get uh, assault rifle damage up to about 9-10%. I'm not sure what the maximum is, but you would always want that over something like... 3,811 health, that's that's nothing, that's going to do nothing for you, but 10% uh, assault rifle damage would do a lot, and I do have assault rifle damage on here, um, but I can't actually transfer it over, and I don't really know why, but of course with clutch on here, then you're going to be getting health back, you're going to be getting armor back, when you've got high crit chance, so in many ways you still don't need um, health and armor, because you've got talents that are tied to how much damage you do, Okay, so uh, you, even with something like Berserk, you know, it's 10% um, weapon damage for every 10% of your armor depleted. It's not like uh, the other talent here, which is Unstoppable Force, which you could say, you know, Unstoppable Force is all about how much armor you've got, and thus you do more damage. But even if you have 200,000 armor, you're only doing 40% weapon damage, and that's after you've killed an enemy, okay? But then you've got Berserk, which you can do up to 100%, basically. Um, when your armor's depleted, and it's it's a percentage amount, so it it works no matter on doesn't matter how much armor you got or health you've got, it, it's fine. So it's much better, <laughs> basically. Um, it's much better than unstoppable force, and you have to invest a lot in armor and health, and you lose a lot of damage to invest in unstoppable force. Whereas with berserk, you, there's no requirements, so you don't have to invest in Loads of health or loads of skill power, none of that stuff. You can just invest in red stats and you're good. And the knee pads, DNH knee pads, crit chance, damage to elites. And all of my mods, if I can, I'm just putting on any red mods that I can. And I'll show you the mods anyway, just for anyone. I've just got, honestly, guys, with mods, I don't even look at them half the time. I just put on what I've got. At this point in the game, with World Tier 5 coming out, you don't really have to worry about this sort of stuff. But as of right now, what's important is that at the moment in the game, you don't actually need to mod or actually create a build f f for tankiness. There's no tank in this game. The only way you can tank in this game in any way, shape, or form is if you run a sort of skill build, which you could possibly use to tank. But again, that requires you to use skills. Um, so DPS doesn't require you to do that. And that would only really work in PvP stuff. With PvE, you don't need to. I mean, ultimately, as soon as you come out of cover in PvP, uh, PvE, it doesn't matter how much damage you've got, Oh, sorry, how much health you've got, how much armor you've got, how much skill you've got, you're going down quickly. Uh, that's just a fact. Certainly when you get into sort of hard and challenging, for my test I actually did it on hard. Unfortunately there's nothing in the firing range that actually can tell you how much damage you're taking. And that would be really good addition because it's all about how much damage you do, which I'm about to show you, rather than how much damage you take. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly change the difficulty to uh, change it to elite because we, we do have damage to elites on this build. So the damage to elites on this build is, well, let me just quickly find it. So crit chance is 43.5%, crit damage is 66%, damage to elites is 122%. So this thing shreds, like it really does. If I could lower the crit damage, uh, the crit chance a little bit and increase the crit damage, I probably would. But that 43.5% along with clutch is clutch. <laughs> Effectively, it, it saves your life. Uh, a lot of the time. So with this build, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go through this and see how much damage we do. Okay. To these individuals. So I was 834, 759, 890. You know, we're doing, we're doing a lot. Of, <laughs> we're doing a lot of damage, right? Okay. So let's just say, well, that wasn't really a good one, but let's just say for this one. Okay. One minute. We just quickly reload this uh, damage thing. Let me reset it here. Uh, so that's right at the back, isn't it? So 803. And again, that's right at the back as well. 890. So I would say we're anywhere between, I think, around about 850. That's probably a... I would say 850. We got between 800 and 890 pretty consistent there. So let's say 850,000 DPS. If I switch this out for what I've named as the bad build. <laughs> I don't know why I've named it that. Um, we'll see how much damage we do with this. You can see it can, takes considerably longer. Um, okay. Let's see if we can get this closer target a little bit. Because that, I think, oh, wow. 
Uh, oh my god. 350,000. Wow. Okay, so I do have to say that with this, uh, crit chance is a lot lower, crit damage is a little bit lower, damage release is considerably lower. Okay, so let's be fair. Let's move that DPS up to around 600,000. If we take into account the damage to elites and all that sort of stuff, I would say that the damage is going to be anywhere between six to 700,000. We're still losing a good 100 to 150,000 of DPS for the sake of 0.5 seconds worth of survivability. Is that worth it? Not in my opinion. Not at all. So the only way to build in this game, or the best way to build in this game, is to throw on as much damage as you can possibly do and just use cover. It is a cover-based shooter. So when you go out of cover, you are punished severely. And you've probably experienced this yourself through the campaign. You'll probably find during the campaign you equip different pieces of armor and health. And you're putting it on and you're thinking, wow, I'm, I'm getting stronger. I'm getting more armor. I'm getting more health. But does it feel that way? Because to me, it never ever, I've never ever felt like I could, <clears throat> excuse me, I've never ever felt like I could just stand there and take some damage. And I'm not promoting face tanking here, okay? I do not want the Division 1. This is a cover based shooter. With that said, if you spec into armor and if you spec into health, then you should feel the survivability, okay? You should feel that you're not doing enough damage, which you do. The damage is definitely there. You can feel that you are taking a lot longer to kill these NPCs. But the amount of damage you're taking is still significant. And it's really not much difference to a DPS glass cannon build. So, for anyone right now, before this balancing patch comes out on April 5th, because we don't actually know what this balancing patch is going to be, what I'd recommend is throw on all your red stats and you'll be doing 890,000 DPS, guys. Because... You're not going to get anywhere near that DPS if you put on blue blue stats, skill stats, any of that stuff. Okay, you're not going to get anywhere near that, and you might survive for 0.5 seconds longer, which isn't even going to be enough for your character to turn around because of how slow the movement is in this game compared to the Division One. So there you go, guys. That was that was really. It. I mean, the debate is all about armor and health. In my opinion, I agree with the I would say majority of people that say armor and health is simply not worth it in this game. Alright, so there you go. That's my opinion. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. A little bit less formal, more informal. I'm just kind of speaking from my mind. Apologies if I made any mistakes. I'm not perfect, <laughs> of course. But uh, I hope you can see that ultimately, if you just spec into red, red stats, you're going to just breeze through content. Just stay in cover, poke out, take out. NPCs easily, especially with a build like this, which has got high damage to elites, it's got high crit chance, and actually you're going to get a lot of survivability from clutch. Clutch alone is better than investing in any blue stats or any skill power stats, because what you're doing is you're investing in red stats to get health and to get armor, okay? So you don't need to even worry about health and armor, because when you're critting, you're getting all of that back. The only time this might become better is if you include uh, safeguard, because obviously they synergize, but for having five or less, not worth it. It's just not worth it, I don't think. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe for any dedicated division content, news, all that good stuff. And until the next one, epic out.